Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Xantrex inverter. It's coming up with inverter off the line and DC voltage fault, 0.7 volts. And you can see the online light isn't on and the ground fault light isn't on. If the online light isn't on, the inverter isn't working. So it, we can see we've got a DC voltage fault here. So the first thing that you would want to try, if, if your inverter has been working and it's just suddenly coming up this, the best thing to try first up is a reboot of the system. And to do that, we follow the shutdown procedure, which should be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch. That'll be located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator. You may or may not have an inverter AC isolator. It just depends on where the inverter's installed. In this case, we do. Inverter AC isolator, we'll just throw that off. And then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So over here, we have a PV ray DC isolator. So we just throw that off and for the system to turn off altogether. The startup procedure is nowhere near as important as a shutdown procedure. So just as long as you turn everything back on, that will be fine. So it's from the DC and from the AC, and then the inverter should start up. The screen's lit up there. Okay, so the inverter has attempted to start up again, and you can see it's coming up with the DC voltage fault again. So we've definitely got an issue here. So the DC voltage is it's saying that it's got a fault from the solar panel side of the system. So the first thing that we would do is just check that you are actually getting the correct voltage from the solar panels. So in this case, at the moment, the inverter is off the line. So I'm just going to pull out the DC plugs underneath the inverter. And I'm going to put my multimeter on DC voltage and... Uh, just check what the voltage is actually coming into the system here. So we can see in this case it's 229 volts. So it's definitely not 0.7 volts like the inverter seems to think it is. So there's definitely not a problem on the solar panel side. It's a problem with the inverter itself. So it could possibly be a, a blown fuse inside the inverter which might need looking at or another internal fault with the inverter. An issue like this will require the help of a solar accredited electrician to work out exactly what's going on and what you can do about it. So if you've got the, uh, the a DC voltage fault like this on your Xantrex inverter and you're around southeast Queensland or the Gold Coast area, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We can certainly help. If you're somewhere else around, around the world, just get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician who can help you sort out the DC voltage fault with your Xantrex inverter further. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.